It's so much fun. Okay. I'm Aren't just... I fun to be around? You are fun. You've got an eye roll and a huff and everything. No, you got a sideways glance. I was like, there's a difference. <laughs> Y'all, she just asked if we were showing a wig today. Well, I forget. I mean, I forget you have them all. I forget about it. You forget you have them And I see you in all different wigs, and so I don't. It's not that I don't pay attention to your hair. I do. She, she's telling the truth right now. She doesn't pay attention to but me, it's the it's just the it's just the normal thing around here. <gasps> Hi, Liz. Liz says she finally made it early. Hi, Kim. We we do look festive. Look at our stars. We're and we do match. We had these shirts in blue too, but we sold out, so we're wearing red. So we had to wear red. But that's good because then we had red white <laughs> and blue <laughs> oh goodness y'all it's been a day we are having fun we are having fun so let's talk about what we have on i have on india and pastel blue r i have on kate that we had exclusively made for us in pastel blue r i was lucky enough to get one out of the last batch and we know we have some people that have already ordered this that are waiting on it so you want to give them the good news they they have been shipped. They, they shipped yesterday, so we'll have them in the store probably Friday. Mm -hmm. And if you've ordered a Kate and Pastel Blue it are it will ship out the second we get it. So yes, um, and we did not get that many, and because we, we didn't think we were gonna order have that many ordered, but people ordered after we ordered. So <sighs> if you've already ordered, you're guaranteed one. If you haven't ordered, oh, you better get on the ball. Yeah. So. Um, Mary bought makeup forever. It's great, isn't it, it? I love it. I love the only thing that Misty was complaining about is it doesn't last as long as what she wanted, but it doesn't, and it's never lasted that long. I feel like as soon as I, you know, have used it for a week, I can already see the bottom in it. But sometimes it's worth it to pay a little extra and, you know, get what you like. Then, you know. So Wendy says she doesn't see blue. So here's the deal. Mine is really blue. If you yeah, look the at the root is blue. The root is blue. Everything's blue. And it may just be from the settings on it your It could be computer. lights. This is right out of the box. It is super, super shiny. That's Misty's personal wig. The other uh, difference is when we had our Kate's made in Pastel Blue R, the factory that makes Kate doesn't make Pastel Blue R, so they had to kind of improvise and they couldn't replicate it exactly. We love it. We think it's beautiful. We like the way it came out, but it's just not quite as blue as what the factory that actually makes the pastel blue makes it. So, yes. But so for those of you who are afraid to venture out into the colored wigs, this would be a good option because it's almost like it just, like she said, a little gray with a little bit of a hint to a blue. Guess who's on? Who? <gasps> Tom Thumb Frisco Whoa! was in the store yesterday. <laughs> so excited and we had a great visit with her so yeah and and was it janice let me scroll back up said frisco's here not the pharmacy oh goodness anyway <laughs> somewhere up here somewhere up here yeah there she is uh janice she's from facebook so we and if you're new and you you see that we're saying something that you have no idea what we're talking about it's because we streamed to two different places at once we streamed right. to facebook and we streamed to youtube and if you haven't already let me say this before we get any further um followed us on youtube go on our channel subscribe turn on the notifications like and share the videos because it really helps us out and it helps so many women out there getting the word out to um, open up the wig world it's it's a we have been astounded at some of the stories that we've been told about how the wig chicks uh, vip group has helped them as far as just you know sometimes when you wear a wig or you need to wear a wig you don't really feel normal and I think when you realize there's a whole bunch of people out there in the same situation and you can talk to them and you can share stories and you can share pictures and get some honest opinions about what the wig looks like on you it really really helps yes In fact, I had a lady call me this morning with a story what story she said it's it's kind of a sad story but Anyway, she was in Walmart Sunday. She's calling this from, this Sunday, this past okay. Sunday, and she's in New York. But I can't remember okay. where she said in New York. It started with an R. But anyway, that's not the point of the story. She's in Walmart, and they announce over the loudspeaker. Does anybody in the store know CPA? C CPR. 
You know, you know a CPA. And so we know a CPA. She uh, she was a nurse, so she went over and she started doing chest compressions. They got the. I, she said the lady was slumped over in a chair. They got her on the floor. She started doing um, CPR on her chest compressions and the whole nine yards. And she said, as soon as I started doing it, I thought please don't let my wig fall off. And so she's like doing her chest compressions. Please don't let my wig fall off. Please don't let my wig fall off. Because that's, that's a physical thing. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's not just like they show in the movies. Like oh, She oh. did four rounds on this woman. And I, I don't know if you've ever, I mean, I've taken CPR classes. I've never had to administer it. It is hard work. It is very hard work. Anyway, um, she said her wig didn't fall off, and she goes, I just wanted to let you know that that's a testament to the wig grip, and had I, had you guys not told me about the wig grip, I would have never known, and I know my wig would have fallen off that day. So That's that's probably the truth, y'all. The wig grip, it helps. You can turn, we've told the story and told the story, but I never get tired of it. <laughs> I, I mean, I sound like a used car, but I can't, I am not pushing when it comes to sales. I mean, I, more times than not will talk somebody out of buying something that I think they're not going to wear but when it comes to a wig grip I think everybody's got to have one yeah so I got this whole spiel of you know you can turn a cartwheel you can ride a motorcycle you can do we had somebody in here turn a cartwheel I mean I I just about had a heart attack because I'm like, like please do not let her <laughs> hurt herself in the store if you've been in the store some people think that we have this big huge open location it's tiny like, yeah so if you've been in the store you know there ain't room for that no but she did it and her wig stayed on. And it sure did. The, and other, the lady, other ladies were like, I'll take I'll it. I'll take one. <laughs> and then we've got another lady. She rides a jet ski in it. Yes, she rides a jet ski. Full I was, blast. I was telling somebody about that. They said, why would you get in the lake in your wig? I'm like, okay, I wouldn't do it. But, you Some know. people just think they got to look good everywhere they go. Well, I am not She's got a million people. wigs. She's got a lake wig. It's not going to be her best wig. <sighs> I want to say hi. And I, I know I told you this, but um, Janie. Liam came by the other day, and she stopped oh. by. She just came to the door and knocked and said, I just wanted to say hi. So good to see you on here, too, Janie. And uh, Sherry Williams, um, was. she said hi again. She was here on Saturday for the second time, and she drove up to see us. So I just want to say hi to those two. Um, oh, and there's Deb Cotton. Deb, I brought my lounge thing today. Cause I had to <laughs> order it, and I haven't. I took it home because I was going to fix my hair. I haven't used it, so I'm going to try that out today. I'll let you know. All right, well, today's about freedom. It is. Who is thankful for their freedom? Oh, I'm, <laughs> you know, the more I hear about what goes on in the world, the more I am thankful for mm -hmm. being in America. For being able to wear we're blue, not perfect. blue wigs if we want to wear blue That's wigs. right. We're not perfect, but shoot, we're better than most other countries. Mm -hmm. We have um, a lot of opportunities here and a lot of blessings that, you know, we take for granted sometimes. So we're, we're talking about freedom today. Oh, who, Sharon said her wig blew off in the car. But luckily, the back Girl, the back windows, the back windows. Oh, the were other. Closed. I was like, all I saw was windows were closed. I'm like, how that happen? You must have a powerful <laughs> air conditioner, because I'm thinking, how in the world is that happening? All right. Well, somebody mentioned again, what wig are we wearing? So just to go over it one more time before we get into everything else, um, Melinda called this the potpourri show, mm -hmm. because we're doing so many different things. I'm wearing Kate by Norico in a color exclusively exclusively made for us, the pastel blue R, and we'll I'll show the back. Kate's super cute. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors, but this is just the color we have made exclusively for us. Do you want to tell them what we're about to do, or you want to, you want to save it? No, we'll we, save no, it. no, we can tell. You already said. I mean, that's okay. It's a teaser. I'll keep them coming back, right? <laughs> let's not tell. Let's not tell. Let's let it be a surprise. Now let's uh, tell. Do y'all want to know? It's up to you. You want to wait? Let's wait. We got a lot of stuff to cover. No, I don't want to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to have secrets. Uh, okay, we're told. having Kate made in Silverstone and Midnight Pearl. If Alicia sees this, she's going to say, what? Because <laughs> yep. we just decided this literally like five minutes before we came on the show. So our rep's going to say, wait, no, I don't have an order for those. So Alicia, if you're watching, we need Silverstone and Midnight Pearl and Kate. <laughs> yeah, Karen, Karen Fox said, tell us now. So that's what we're doing. So, you know... It's just a it's cute wig. It's two or three month lead time. We're not going to have it till probably the holidays. So uh, we'll, we will put it on, the, Misty will put it on the site so that if you would like to pre-order, you can pre-order. But again, it's going to be a three month yeah. wait. Yeah, I'll put it on there. It won't be today, but I'll put it on there. If you just be watching for that and we'll um, make a post on Facebook about it. So if you don't follow us on <sighs> Facebook, you've got to watch us on Facebook. Read what? Myers. Where's she at? Oh, 
That oh, would be good. No. Oh, Kim. Well, then somebody said melted marshmallow. Y'all. Y'all. Because y'all, okay. Let's put, okay, to be continued yeah. on the exclusive colors. And okay. Pick. What do you want to do now? You pick. Well, has anybody noticed anything about our lips? They're bare. Mine well, I have gloss on. I, I have, have a little bit of gloss. On. I have on Berry Blast. And so this is what the tube looks like, and that's what it looks like on bare skin. Now, Oh, yeah. we. Did, I'm sorry. We all got into the cake. They want to know what you're wearing. Oh, it. India in Pastel Blue are. By Renee Paris. By Renee Paris. And actually, this has a lace front. It's got a mono part. And this Renee Paris line that or collection that India was part of, the cap size seems a bit bigger. It's it's roomier. It's stretchier. I always think that wig reminds me. I don't know. I call it the movie star wig. It's just so classy to me. Okay. <clears throat> Lips. Okay. So, anyway, this is Berry Blast. It's a brand new gloss that LipSense just came out with. So, I'll just... Should I already apply? I do the gloss every single day. So if you're not a huge color person um, or where you want to just, you know, have that heavy color on all day long, the glosses are great to reapply. My lips, I don't care what time of the, the year it is. Used, used to in the wintertime, my lips would just crack and they would be so dry. I have not had one single issue. This is the best gloss. Yeah. I love the gloss. And if you don't know, then yeah, my some favorite colors, is like, Bougainvillea. Like Missy said, some people don't they're not really about the colors but the glosses they make are incredible they're very moisturizing hydrating and they're they're just nice they're just really really nice glosses. i just can't get over that that's the same thing mm -hmm. isn't that crazy so don't always say don't judge a, a gloss by its color <laughs> so we're going to show you what three or four glosses today so yeah. that you can see what it looks like on bare lips and then we're going to show you uh, a new color that they came out with lip Sense that we just got in this is my all-time favorite color the bougainvillea which we were out of Boog i'm telling you i just can't get enough of these i have one in my car one in my purse one at the shop and one at home because it just gives just a hint of color and a little bit of shimmer so you Debbie, can kind of see the difference in your purple and my pink. Mm -hmm. Debbie, we sell the sh shirts at the shop. But also, Misty and I have different coloring. So this gloss is going to look different on, or it'll look totally different on both of us. And if you ever go through and look at Lip Sense images, you'll see they show it on a num they show their colors on a number of different skin tones just so that you can get an idea of how the color is going to change. And I tried to update all the pictures today, and I always try to use the same image so that you can see it's it's consistent but um this is my favorite bougainville and we were out of it for a while but we got it now yeah all right and so the key to lip sense though is always start with the clean dry lip unless you're doing the gloss so we're going to just do an application for you because so many of you buy it and then you know you don't really know what to do with it so what do you use i use this it's no tears it's a little bit tricky to find you used to be able to get it on amazon and i don't have my glasses on what's the name of this company company uh, the name of the company is called no miss and it's no tears eye makeup remover and i had to buy it directly from them this was 17 dollars for the bottle which i just on amazon it used to be 10 so i kind of had a fit <laughs> Sandra says, that's why y'all can't keep Missy's Conan's talk. She has them all. I can't help it. I just got to have, got to have my bougainvillea. It would be embarrassing to show you our collection of lip scents. Yeah, I just use a little micellar cleansing water to take um, mine off, which you don't really have to use a substance like that for just the gloss, but just to make sure that I'm totally clean and dry. And then I'm going to go over it with a little witch hazel. So I used witch hazel because I wanted to clean. This is, this is great for taking the lip scents off. Now, Melinda that works here also, she uses witch hazel at home and she says it works great. They make a product called Oops, and that is made to remove your lip scents. 
I personally don't think it works that great as far as remove. It's a little bitty tube and you'd have to have a ton of it to get your lip sense off. I think the oops is really best for if you go outside the lines a little bit and oops. And right. so then you can kind of refine your lines a little bit. Can you show the Kate in the back, please? Oh, yes. Melinda? Melinda? All right, so once you have a clean, dry lip, what? I'm sorry. I, the comments are, my wig blew off while riding around Boss's Ranch in Polaris and a cowboy behind me caught it. Can you please um, research and see if LipSense is gluten-free, if the glosses are gluten-free? Sure. Thank you. We're checking on the gluten-free gloss, okay. someone asked. All right, so um, one, when you get your color that you want to put on, we're going to do colors for you, and Kim's going to do the brand new color. If you saw our post on Facebook, the new uh, set that's the Dripping Jewels. First of all, I just love the name of that. Who doesn't want to be dripping in jewels? Um, this is the color that comes in there, and the set is $65, and it comes with um, your lip sense color, two glosses, and an oops, which Kim has already said that, but if you missed the very beginning of the show and just tuning in, you can see. So she's going to do that. I'm going to do another one of our absolute best-selling colors ever. So if you like, Kim wears darker lipstick than I normally do. Sometimes I do, but she looks great in the dark colors. I tend to go with a little bit lighter, more neutral. So whenever you get this... Okay, Lynn looked it up and says it's gluten-free. Most products are gluten-free. LipSense contains no wax and no lead. And they're kosher. And they're kosher. Okay, so you always want to give a good shake. Thank you. It has a little ball in it like paint, so you want to make sure it's... Yeah, this is not a stain. This is more like a paint. So you're going to put three coats. You're going to go one direction. So I'm the color I'm doing is pink champagne. And you, you just go one thing. I divide your lip into three sections or four. One, two, and then top and then bottom is what I do. You're going to let it dry in between. We look, we do remind somebody of Billy Idol. Huh? They say we have white wigs. They're blue. <laughs> and now put your lips together. You're going to look a little silly when you're doing it, but hey. Never a bad thing to look a little silly. You can also mix your colors. Remember when you used to get creative and mix them in that little tattoo thing? Oh yeah, when we used to be able to let people try. Mm-hmm. Oh, Deb uses a small fan. Mm-hmm. Our Leyland fans. All right, this is my third and final coat. I'm slow. I thought too much. I kind of like this color. It's not as dark on as it looks. Oh, well, I guess it looks the same. Mm, that is pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I like this it's a like lot. A, uh, I always compare everything to Bella. And this is called <laughs> uh, Madeira Topaz. So you can see my lips are, my, my <laughs> lips are all sticky. So we got, here's a new gloss. It's called Glow. So I'm going to use the Glow Gloss to put on top. Can I use the other one? Yeah. This is called Tahitian, Tahitian Pearl. Tahitian Pearl. And it almost looks a little purple. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's so pretty. That has like a little a bit gold. of gold glitter. Oh, I don't know. I might want to use that. Just kidding. I'll use this. <gasps> Look. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't see the unicorn. Oh, see, here, okay, here's <laughs> wig chip, <laughs> wig chick stew lips. <laughs> Um, I wanted to call it lips and hips, but we couldn't figure out anything to do with our hips. So. Well, I don't want to hips show don't anybody lie. mine. <laughs> you know, that's what Shakira said. Hips don't lie. Okay, uh, this is the, what was it called again? Tahitian Pearl. Tahitian Pearl. That's okay, pretty. this is why you, we are flat out addicted to the glosses. Because 
the glosses are so pretty and they feel so nice but it changes the color of your lip scents just slightly so if you want a little you know this gave me a little bit more of a gold glimmer uh, or shimmer if I didn't want that and I wanted the Tahitian pearl then okay now here's the, the key I'm gonna wipe my gloss gloss off but it the color stays on yeah okay literally you can tell yeah, so now if I get a clean one I'm no wiping problem. I'm yeah. moving my lips wiping. so that's the beauty of lip scents it stays the color on. stays but I'm gonna try this gold because this would look pretty with this shirt we yeah have. it would now the thing about what the lip scent site will tell oh you is goodness. that it will last 18 hours I can't get 18 hours out of mine. I usually put mine on around 9 o'clock in the morning, and by about 3 or 4, it could use a refresher. But during that time, I'm just glossing several times a day, but I'm eating, I'm drinking, and it stays on. I love this. I love this glow. Yeah. And so now I'm going to put Tahitian Pearl on. I love it. <laughs> and see, that kind of, oh my goodness, that reminds me of a combination of the sweet pea and the the it, what's the one that you wear that's real iridescent that I call the unicorn gloss? Oh, the um the clover. Is it the No, that was the green one. Oh, the um opal? Opal. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm happy. Yes. This is so pretty. I have to have glow. It's not going to top Bougainvi, but we don't know that until I see it on my bare lip. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it off. <laughs> This is witch hazel. Yeah, the Tish and Pearl is exceptional with the hair colors, I think, today. So are you taking your color off? Uh-huh. Okay. I want to see that on bare lip. All right. I'm going to take my color off, too. So I'm using this. I have a lot of pink in my natural lip. So I think that's one reason I don't do too many colors, because... Jan, when I first started wearing lip scents, I swore it added 10 minutes on my day as far as getting ready. <laughs> but it's like everything else, you do it, and it, yeah, it takes a few more minutes on the front end. But you're not having to put lipstick on all day. You're not having to wipe lipstick off your cup. You're not having to wipe your cups down before you put them in the dishwasher. There's a whole lot of... Jean says that this type of lip stain dries out your lips okay like, like we said first of all lip sense is not a stain it's an actual lipstick that sits on top of your lips it doesn't permeate your your lips like a stain would um so but yes it's that's why they make the gloss to go with the lip sense they work in conjunction so if you get dry in an hour four hours whatever it is just reapply your gloss Tracy, thank you for stopping in and saying hi. Tracy said she just popped in for a second. She's going to watch us later, but she wanted to say hi. Okay. Okay, so there's some sensations that some people get where, and we have never figured this out, but certain colors burn more than others. You, uh, I've never had my, had it dry my lips out. I wear it every single day. It's never, ever dried my lips out. But you've got to use the gloss, like Misty said. Okay, I did, so I did a thing here. I'm going to show you two colors at once. <laughs> what are you doing while I'm talking? <laughs> <laughs> On my top lip, I put the new color I got yesterday. As soon as it came in, this is the Sparkling Champagne. <laughs> I feel so dumb. <laughs> sparkling Champagne. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom is that um, the, the, the glow. So you can see a little bit more neutral on the top. A little bit more, um, I almost want to say coral, kind of goldy on the bottom. Now we'll mix them all together. I love and it. And I was telling some people last night mm -hmm. when I was having dinner, Misty has the most perfect lips ever. That they should really, they should really hire her for those images. No, that yeah. that like I don't I want some, I don't want a little filler right here. <sighs> Misty's lips are like pretty right without anything on them. Oh, lip scents. Okay. I think we can go on. All right. Let me get this stuff out of the way so I don't spill it. Okay. So we covered well, our lips. Wait, let's cover one other thing. Oh, okay. You cannot order this online. Right. Because we're not allowed to do that. So if you want to order it, you have to call the store 
and give us your credit card number. That's the only way that they will do it. I got a little nasty letter from their legal department, and they don't like us selling it online because they don't. They want us to do it a different way, and yes. I don't want to do it that way. And if you're not comfortable giving us your credit card number or you want to use PayPal, then we can also email you an invoice link where you can go on and pay for it like that. So. We'll, we'll get you taken care of, but it's just... We have a ton. Every color that I just posted on our Facebook page and group, every color we have in stock right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say we'll have it in the next two hours because people tend to order a lot of lip scents when they're reminded of it. But if you go on there, I've, I've made images where you can see every single color and every single color of gloss that we have. And most of the time when people are buying lip scents, they're ordering it from someone, and so they'll stack their order, and so you may have to wait a week. We actually stock it in the store. So if you are curious if we have a certain color, if it's on our hundreds. website, we have it. We have hundreds yeah. and hundreds of lip scents. I remember onto that every time we do that inventory. All right, let's talk about this. Oh. We're kind of covering just some of our favorite Lilash. Lilash. Y'all, this is the best lip lip lash growth serum i've ever used and i've used them all we have both used them all and we've we've ordered from vanuatu and any other place in the world we could find that would send us something that said it was going to make our lashes grow and this is i think this is the most expensive product we've used but it is definitely no no it's not i used um something that cost a little bit more than this for well back when i used uh, what's the first thing i used I had to get it from neiman's um, it was $140 for a month's supply. Yeah. This is one, what is it? I'm 140 $140 for a six, is it six a month? Three month? Six months. Six month supply. So it's a little pricey at first, but it lasts you a long time. You only have to put it on once a day on your top lashes. Somehow or another, it kind of seeps down, and I feel like my, my longer ones, or my lower ones are longer too. But y'all, this is the best product right here. Okay, Lash. Lynn says it's a little weird. They'll let us, they won't let us sell it online, but they'll let us promote it. What they want us to do is set up a portal where you have to go through their site in order to order so that they have all of your shipping information and your email and contact information, and I don't want to do that. We don't sell information, and we tightly control all of our customers' information, mm -hmm. and so I just having a third party do that I'm not comfortable with and so that's that's their rule and I signed an agreement that I would follow their rules so that's what I'm doing but I'm just doing it a different way all right so let's move on what's next um oh let's talk about the w-o-w the wow oh the wig of the week so we started this new thing we really didn't say anything about it but it's the wig of the week and so every Wednesday we're going to note we're going to announce a wig of the week that wig will be 15% off. It'll be, typically we'll run it Wednesday through Sunday, and uh, you'll be able to take advantage of that sale, and that will happen every week. However, it's not going to happen this, this week, because we got something else. Because it's a else. holiday. It's a holiday. It's a big holiday. And we're free to... We're free to do whatever we want. That's right. We do whatever. Whatever. Except you can't... Except we can't sell lip sense on our website. Except for that. <laughs> and we, you can't light firecrackers in the city limit. Well, I grew up in the country, and yeah. you can do whatever you want to do out there. I still live in the country. Carolyn says someone sells it on Marketplace. Yeah, they sell it on Marketplace, but you still you have to go there and pay for it. And it, you, you can't sell you, it anywhere yeah. that you have a basket. They don't like the whole... The whole shopping cart. The shopping cart. It's the whole um, idea of the online shopping cart system. Yeah. So Marketplace doesn't have a shopping cart. It's just a direct sell. Yeah. So. All right. All right. What? Okay. So. What do you do on July Fourth? You eat watermelon, and you and have corn barbecue and corn. What else? Oh, did, you, oh, you didn't ask about food, did you? No, I didn't. I said, <laughs> "What do you do?" I didn't say, "What do you eat?" But I guess eating That's, is an activity. It's an, it's it an is. action sport. Yes, well, it is for me. Speaking of, what are we gonna have for lunch? Yeah, I know. I know. I brought a salad. Well, I brought some stuff, too. Good. Anyway, y'all don't care about that. What else do you do? You go shopping. You go shopping? Yeah. When everybody has a sale. Oh, that's true. I'm going to be appliance shopping. I know. What else do you do? You really want me to say it? Yeah. You pop fireworks and firecrackers. 
which I ain't gonna lie. Okay, my family sold fireworks for years, and first of all, that is some hard work. We did it down on Crystal Beach, um, on, and it was fun. It was so fun. You met so many cool people, but it was hard work. Secondly, I mean, you're just throwing your money up in smoke, literally. But I'm not here to lecture you. If you want to spend a thousand dollars in fireworks, that's fine as long as your bills are paid. Well, when we went and bought fireworks at one Fourth of July, well, that was fun. We didn't spend that much money. You didn't talk about we're just throwing our money away. Well, because we had a girls' weekend and we did those sparklers that are like three feet long, and you know that's that's nothing. But Kay wants to back my wig. Literally, people, this is so pretty. This looks like it kind of has hot rolls in it. But people spend thousands of dollars on fireworks. Well, I was shocked at how much some of them cost. Yes. Otherwise. But you know what? If you're going to buy them, let me tell you what the best thing is. Those artillery shells, they're called Excalibur. Those are the best. Little plug there. <laughs> but shoot, you, if you just sit outside, you could just watch people. Yeah. You didn't have to spend anything. In California, they can't have them right now. California. What's wrong with y'all? The fires. We'll seal. Can't have fireworks. You can't even have a plastic straw, I don't think, anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, we've digressed again. Okay, so we're going to do the week of the week, and then we have... Jenny wants to know if we have Seze or monthly. We uh, PayPal has pay in four on our... We use PayPal PayPal. for that. We're going to do an auction. (gasps) Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yes. And if any of you ordered last week and got the mystery wig, just let me digress a little bit more. Please post your picture Yeah, the mystery wig. That was so much fun. We got rid of those in a hurry. Yeah. But we decided we wanted to do an auction. Misty's wanted to do an auction forever, and we just couldn't really figure out how we wanted to do it and how we wanted to structure it and that type of thing. But we got it figured out. So what's going to happen is it's going to be on Facebook. So this is why you need to follow us on Facebook And you need to follow us on YouTube because we'll have certain things for certain platforms. And if you're on both, you're not going to miss anything. Right. So it will be on our Facebook page, not the group. Right. So if you're a member of Mimi's Wig Chicks VIP, you have to actually like and follow our regular Mimi's Wig Boutique page to see the auction. Yeah. This is going to be fun, y'all. And this all came about because you all know I love James Avery Jewelry. Well, I've done this in on some of their sites. So it's just fun. Who doesn't love an auction? So how's it going to work? Well, we are going to show you the wig in a short video. We'll come on, have the wig on that we're auctioning off. It'll be the actual wig. So when we show you that, the auction is going to last for 24 hours from that posting. Um, it'll, it won't be like a crazy hour in the middle of the night and we want to give everyone a chance, no matter what time zone you're in to participate. So that's why we're doing it for 24 hours. So we're going to post it on Facebook, Mimi's Wig Boutique Facebook page, like and follow. Right. Okay. And then once we show the video, the comments will be the bidding. So you, if you want to bid on the wig, we're not sure what the bid will start at. It, it's not going to be much, you know, because, you know, we want to give everyone a chance to, you know, if no one likes it, if which I have highly doubt. But right. if, if we have a wig that no one likes, then, yeah, you can get it for less, you know, lesser amount of money. But the, the key to this is these are wigs that you're never going to get anywhere else. Right. They are total, individual, unique wigs. Yes. So if you like it, once and we it, post the video in the comment, Let's just say the bidding starts at $50, and you say, okay, well, I'll pay $55. Then somebody else might comment $60. Somebody else might comment $66.50. You know, it, there's no rules. You don't have to increase it. It's just going to be fun. So comment that, and then at the end of the 24 hours, exactly, we're going to set the alarm and cut it off. The highest bid will get the wig, and we'll email you an invoice. You'll have 24 hours to pay it. If you don't pay it, it'll go to the next highest bidder. Yeah. And if this is successful, because we just want to see how it goes because it sounds like a ton of fun, then once we don't have the uh, collection of wigs that we have, we'll do it with other wigs. Yeah, we might do it with a Mimi's exclusive wig or something that you can't get anywhere else and give you the chance to, you know, not maybe pay full price. Yeah. Now, um, if you have any other ideas, let us know. But I, I can't wait to start this. I don't know if we'll start this week or next week. I don't know. Just be watching for it. You have to be watching. And so also on YouTube, turn your (laughs) notifications on. Rhonda asked, no, no. it's going to be cute. We're never going to (laughs) auction off something that we think is, I'm just, it'll be something that we would actually wear. I mean, we're not going to do that to y'all. 
All right, we Kim, love y'all too much. Kim Dinkler has um, is asking a question about PayPal and the pay in four, and um, one of the things when we first started that is Misty got on the phone with PayPal and was trying to help some people out. You know, if there was something confusing or trying to figure out what was going on with their account, PayPal told us to stop calling, that we don't need to call, that if you have a question, you've got to call yourself. So we tried to run interference. They won't let us. It's a privacy it, thing. They will not talk to us about anything. So you've got to call. But what we have found is the people that uh, have called have had great success and that PayPal is really easy to work with and they're nice and they'll kind of walk you through what you need to be walked through, you know, if you um, – miss a step or you're confused or whatever they're they're real good about working with you yes now what else we're going to talk about okay beth says say again how we joined the boutique facebook page just go to facebook and search for mimi's wig boutique and the page will come up and you just like it Mm -hmm. like and follow right like and follow yeah all right what now well, we're talking about popping firecrackers and fireworks. Oh, we should have a coupon code for the 4th of July. We totally should. That sounds like fun. We almost forgot that, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that whole lead up into what do you do on the 4th was all for this, and then we got on the auction. <laughs> but it's, it's okay, so it's time for a sale, y'all. We have we didn't have one in June. No, we didn't. We had two in May. Mm-hmm. And I know you think, oh, well, it's a holiday. you got to have a sale. We might surprise you sometime keep you on your toes okay Beth cannot find the page Mimi's wig boutique no it's not linked from um, the private group just go to your main Facebook page in the search bar type Mimi's wig boutique yeah yeah Mimi's wig boutique and then I'll post it in the group just if anybody needs it but it'll be a little bit later so the um, coupon code is firecracker firecracker all one word. I'm going to post this image. It'll take me just a second. So we get a lot of phone calls and questions and emails about there's no place to put the coupon code and people will put it in the comments and it won't work if it's in the comments. It only works if it's in the coupon code box. So Misty did a screenshot so that we could kind of help you see exactly what to look for. I just got to find for the where coupon I saved code. It. Where did you go? Well, maybe scroll down. There it is. Anyway, keep talking. (laughs) Anyway, so. (laughs) Okay, so this is the actual screenshot of our uh, website on how to, or on the order page. As you can see, I've put my favorite wig in there, the Alva in the Melted Marshmallow. And a lot of you don't know where to put this. It actually says promo slash gift certificate. And so that's where you're going to put firecracker and hit apply. If you just put it in the comment section, it's not going to work. Y'all, it's not going to work. So um, this is the actual image that you're going to be seeing as you're placing an order. And then you'll see the 25% off each item up there and it'll show you your discount. And for security reasons, the system doesn't allow us to go into your account and start changing it. And so we can't just go in and do a discount. The only option we have is to just give you a store credit for your next purchase. Yes. So if once you know. your order is placed and you paid with your credit card, it's pretty well sealed the deal. So um, make sure in the promo slash gift certificate. I know it's kind of misleading because it, it, I wish it said coupon code and maybe we can talk to them later on about changing it. But just firecracker. It doesn't have to be all caps, but it does have to be all put together. And once you hit apply... If you don't see a discount, you've done something wrong. Right. (laughs) So just kind of play around with that and do it. Okay. We've had a couple more questions about the tops we're wearing. We sell these tops in the shop. We had them in blue. The blue sold out. And I think we only have a couple more of these left. So if you want the tops, we've got one large and two mediums left. And that's it. And the red. And they're so, so soft and just level. level. Yeah. And so. But you have to call us for that. Yeah. I've got a medium on. Well, I have a large on. And so I'm, I'm fairly large, but you can see it's, it's roomy enough. Yeah. And, and it does have the band around the bottom. I can't stand up tall enough, but it has the, yeah, it has the, the band. contrast band around the bottom. And too. it's super, super soft. Yes. So, so when you're calling us to order your lip scents. Yeah. Just say, I want a top if there's any left. So, 
All right. Coupon so, code is? Firecracker. Firecracker. All one word, no spaces, just firecracker. Yes, and I will post an infographic in the group and on Facebook that has what what we just talked about and what it's called and, and the guidelines of the the thing about the coupon code is it's not good on sale wigs because they're already deeply discounted. Um, and it's not good on wigs that we have made especially for us yeah. because those are considerably higher cost for us. Yeah. So, um, but it's good on everything else. Yeah. So y'all have fun. Have a wonderful, safe fourth. And we will see you next week. It's been so fun. Yeah. I love, I love Wednesdays. All right, let's get that auction going.